What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So for once in our life, we are starting with a bare face because we are gonna be reviewing the new Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation from Fenty Beauty. This is also going to be my powder foundation routine. A lot of you guys have asked me for this, so I will show you guys exactly how I do my routine when I do do powder foundation. And we are also going to do a wear test with this. Today. Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. Alright y'all, let's do it. This is going to be a full face of Fenty as well, sis, so we doing it all today. But our focus is the soft matte foundation. I do not have the Fenty primer, so I'm just going in with my Laura Mercier foundation primer. So real quick as a disclaimer, I am not on Fenty PR, so I did go and cop this. I went yesterday and got a lot of Fenty goodies, um, including the foundation. I would have gotten this in earlier for you guys had I been on the PR, but I'm not, so <laughs> I went and copped it. Um, I'm gonna go in with my concealer first, and this is in 385, and this is Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, and we are doing some brightening today on the under eye, but the reason that I don't go in with concealer over my powder is because, of course, they tell us that you ain't supposed to do that. <laughs> but for me, it causes blending issues. You're never supposed to go in with cream products on top of a powder. So I like to go in with any cream products that I want to use underneath a powder foundation. And then once the powder foundation is on, I go ahead and move on with only powder products, if that makes sense. It just messes with the formula of it, in my opinion. I know there are some people who don't mind putting cream product over a powder, but the way my life is set up, <laughs> it don't ever work out good for me. So I like to do this before. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the places where I wanna put it. And then I'm going to set it with my Fenty powder. And this is a mix between banana and honey. And I'm not applying this powder with my sponge like I usually do because I kind of want to keep my skin a little bit hydrated just to allow me to blend more with the powder foundation. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I don't want this to be so set into place to the point where it's not movable and blendable with the powder. On to the star of the show, which is the Fenty Beauty powder foundation. So let's talk about the claims. First of all, it says that it is buildable, light to full coverage. It says it's long wearing, it is no flashback. It has a blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blurred finish. Sweat proof, humidity proof, crease resistance, and it's layerable. Is that a word? <laughs> you can layer it. It do reduces the appearance of shine, all that jazz. So this is the compact, this is what it looks like. It has the color here, and then if you pull this up, it does have a sponge here at the bottom. From what I am told, from what I'm told, your shade in this will be the same as the other foundations. Let's find out, it's looking like it could be. But one thing I do know about powder foundations, and if you guys, I don't know if you guys follow Bare Minerals, but I did some holiday tutorials with them. And of course, they're famous for their powder foundation, their original powder foundation. So I did this routine when I did those tutorials, but I learned from doing those and just using powder foundation in general that it comes off a little darker than it looks like it is in the pan. <laughs> Especially if your skin has already been moisturized, you have a little bit of moisture already in your skin. That's what moisture does. It deep powders so I'm a little nervous cuz like I said I'm not on a PR and this is the only shape that I got <laughs> so sis we about to we about to see I am gonna go ahead on this side and I'm gonna use 420 420 is my shade so I'm gonna use 420 and I'm gonna use the sponge and I'm just going to start to press it onto my skin It's too dark. Oh no. Um. Okay, so that claim is false. Um, this is 420, and this is typically what I wear in Fenty Pro Filter, and this ain't working. This looks like 440, and 440 is a deeper warm shade that is like more red-ish, and this is what this looks like. I'm actually compare it for y'all. Y'all, we're gonna have to go on a field trip. Huh. Okay, wait. But let, let's compare first before I 
Jesus, okay. Okay, so I'm out pretty much of my soft matte liquid foundation. <laughs> but this is 420, this is 440, because I initially thought this was my shade. This right here is 440. And I feel like this is the powder version. 420 is the powder version of 440. And this is the normal 420 shade, which is my shade. As you can see, it is definitely not the undertone of this. <laughs> Definitely not. So, I probably could have learned this had I watched some reviews on this before I did this video, but I don't watch reviews before I do a review because I don't want to be biased. So, I'm gonna have to go to Sephora. Thank God Amira is off of school. And we gonna go to Sephora and we gonna get, what is it? What's the one before this? Let me see. I'm 420, it's 410. Yeah. Okay, we about to go to Sephora. <laughs> Not going like this, so I'm gonna take all of this off. Ain't no way I can do this with the wrong shade. I gotta show y'all how it's really gonna be, how it's really gonna look, the tea. So, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're back. Let me go ahead and rush through what I did before. I already put on my primer, <laughs> and I'm just gonna rush through this real quick so that we can get to the correct color. All right, y'all talking about dedication, sis. Okay. <laughs> I was really excited to do this in, it's okay, it's fine. We're good now, we're, we're good now. What's this for? So this one is 410 and this one is the 420. That was too dark. It's a slight difference in color, but I feel like this one might work better, but it's crazy because I can never wear 410 like in the liquid foundation. <laughs> it would be way, way, way too light. Let's try this again. <laughs> And typically I would never use this pad anyway, but okay. This is better. Yeah, I see that this is matching my neck. So this is a lot better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to press this onto the skin. I'm going to do this side first and I'm gonna go into a different applicator on this side because I would never actually use this Anytime this kind of applicator or this type of sponge comes in a compact, I never use it. So I just wanna be <laughs> genuine to you guys and use what I usually would use and see how it, how it looks. But I think I'm liking, yeah, I like this. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a cute little close up so you can check it out. And I'm just moving this around where my concealer is and kind of like blending it where it is meeting it. Like I said, that's why I did not want the concealer to be super, super, super dried down with the powder, just so that I can go in between the cracks and really customize it. And that is looking very skin-like. Very skin-like. Let's look from this side to this side. This is without it, and this is with it. It's matching my shade perfectly, very, very weird. But yeah, on this side, I don't know if I wanna go in with my sponge or a brush. I'm gonna try a brush and see how it looks. I feel like I'm getting lighter coverage with the brush. I don't know. I would say when I typically am using a powder foundation, usually I'm using the Bare Mineral ones and they have their own little brush like this. Oh. They have their own. Dropped it twice. <laughs> they have their own brush like this that you use and you swirl it and you put it onto the face like a buffing motion. So I've never really tried anything else besides that with the powder foundation. If you try this out and you don't want super like harsh coverage, don't use <laughs> the sponge that comes with it. I would use a brush, like a buffing brush. And this one is from Bare Minerals. It's their smoothing, smoothing face brush. But you'll get a lot lighter coverage using a brush versus using what it came with. To give myself kind of the same coverage, I am gonna go back into this and press in the areas where I put it with the brush just to make sure that I have a deeper color, a deeper shade. I would have to say so far I do like this. I feel like it looks like skin and I feel like that's pretty, Pretty dope, but I don't know if you guys are seeing why I went in with concealer beforehand. <laughs> it just all just starts to come together and you don't have to worry about putting the liquid or cream product on top of a powder because that is just a recipe 
for disaster. <laughs> and from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to sculpt my face out a little bit more. And we're just gonna do the eyes and the lips. So for bronzer, I'm gonna go into my Coco Naughty Bronzer Fenty Beauty and start to warm up the perimeter of the face just a tad so that we get a full makeup look. And this is actually my first time using this bronzer and this is cute. This cute girl, this is real cute. <laughs> Hopefully soon I'll be put on Fenty PR sets. Let's just speak that into existence. <laughs> We're doing a little nose contour as well with the bronzer. And I'm actually gonna dip back into the 410 foundation with a brush, a big fluffy brush, and use that to sculpt underneath my bronzer just to give us, you know, it was a little flat. So I just wanted to bring that chiseled look back in. And we are gonna go ahead and do a quick little eye tutorial. This is gonna be super, 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 super fast. So y'all know I can't skip it. So let's just go ahead and get closer. <laughs> I'm repriming my eyes because I didn't really set them how I should have when I first put this on. And this is the same concealer I've been using in 385. And we're gonna be using the Snap Shadows today. This is the True Neutrals. We're gonna do something real simple, real cute, real easy. On both sides of the eyes, I'm gonna go into the shade down here in the middle, which is Come and Get It. And I'm gonna work this into my crease on both sides. I kinda wanna do a cute little halo eye situation today. While we're up close, y'all can check out the skin, how it's looking very natural. And I love that. It's definitely soft and matte as well. With the fluffy blending brush that's clean, I'm just going on the perimeter of this to make sure it's nice and blended out. And then with my finger, I'm dipping into velvet cuffs right here and I'm just gonna place this on the middle of the lid and start to just move it around in the middle. Definitely gonna go in with a brush here in a minute cause I'm making a mess with my big old fingers. But this is indeed like the perfect nude neutral type of palette. Up just a tad in the corners with the deeper shade that's right here. Didn't want this to be super dark, but I felt like I needed a little something, something. And then I'm gonna use the brush that I use with Come and Get It just to blend that darker shade out. And that's about it for the eyes. I'm going to hook up my bottom lash line with the darker colors. I'm gonna go ahead and wing us out and throw on some mascara and some lashes. All right, so lastly, so well, second to lastly, we're gonna add a highlighter and I'm gonna go into Mo Money and just highlight our nose. Y'all know I can't get away from that. We're gonna hit it in the inner tear ducts and the cupid's bow as well. Skipping the cheeks, not only because you guys know I don't do that a lot anymore, <laughs> but I also just want to make sure that we can really see the skin and how it, you know, progresses throughout the day. Lastly, I do have a couple of the lip creams from Fenty. I think I'm just gonna go into this one. This one is cute. Well, let's, let's just let's just see how it looks, just for the heck of it. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, oh, it smells good too, y'all. This shade is in Mauve Wives. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. We're not gonna rock with this one though because obviously we have a very <laughs> more chill look going on. But the other one I got is in Fenty Glow. It's kind of like a, just a neutral lip gloss shade. That's it, that's the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see how the skin is looking before we go about the day and come back for the wear test. So I feel like the skin looks very natural. Definitely a soft matte vibe. It does take away the shine of the skin. So I don't know, it's extremely skin-like to me. That's how I'm feeling about it. I feel like we went a little ham with the inner tear duct, but you know, it's cool. <laughs> so I just got some regular life stuff going on today. Probably gonna watch the movies with Amira. It's 1 p.m. It's 106. So I'll be back in eight hours, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> nine around nine or 10 p.m i'll be back to show you guys how we're looking i think i'm gonna touch up one side if i need it and the other side i'm not gonna touch up so you guys can see how it looks without touching up versus touching up for the day which we all touch up but just to give y'all a good little idea 
and I'll be back. <laughs> all right babes so we are back it is 8 47 p.m i couldn't wait all the way to nine because i'm sleepy girl <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see what we are looking like okay so i said i was going to touch up but i did not my day consists of sleeping <laughs> i took a nap i've just been at the crib um chilling so i did not wear a mask today with this makeup on i've been catching up on some youtube videos had to catch up on my boo Aaliyah, and yeah just really been chilling this is what the face is looking like i have my oil going on here nothing different there you know i'm just an oily chick <laughs> like somebody just slapped me with some oil on the nose area but you know it's fine around here it's looking really really good we got a little creases here but y'all know i have that problem in general but as far as the skin and how it looks i think it looks pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and just take my sponge with nothing on it and touch up on this side i'm really just absorbing the oil i could do this with a you know toilet paper or some type of blotting paper as well but i'm just using my sponge because that's what's in front of me and honestly that looks pretty much good as new <laughs> on that side i have a little creasing on underneath but that's just because i did not actually put the foundation under the eye i know i went in with concealer there and i didn't set it how i usually do so i was kind of expecting that because i didn't really go in as much as i wanted to there but she looking she's looking good she's looking real good i am gonna say that i actually actually really really love this powder foundation i love it for anyone who feels like you know doing all the liquid and cream steps and blending out is an issue i feel like with powder foundation you don't have to blend as much as you do when you have a lot of different creams and you know making it flawless and stuff like that i feel like this is perfect for the on the go girl you know you just want to don't want some foundation you want to get up and go be about your business look flawless all day i feel like that's who this is for and it lasts pretty well of course we could have been looking like this all day had i touched up but i kind of just wanted to, you guys to see how the oils did come through but it didn't really come through on the foundation it came through in the area where my concealer was because i have a you know t-zone oil oiliness <laughs> so i feel like she is a win <laughs> in my book i love it you can ask them here. I've been talking about it all day. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, my love. So that wraps it up for today's video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it and that you got the information that you needed when it comes to this soft matte powder foundation from Fenty Beauty. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you plan on getting this, if you got it, if you love it, if you don't. <laughs> and if you have not yet, please make sure that you hit subscribe below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.